Just take yeah. off. Just, <laughs> just take <laughs> off. Just dive out of the scene. <laughs> Get off under the camera. Two, action. There you go. <laughs> Why don't they you say action? <laughs> you just do that, and then the director says action after that. God, Steven. Wait, yeah. uh, you if you'd have followed the screw that up. commitments, you could have done that. But. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. I told you. Uh, anyway. Yeah, let's do it. Back for show 62. As always, we got Gunny Matheson, Joe Schmidt, and tonight, Cade McCutcheon. Thought we'd uh, recap and visit a little bit about the American Horseman and the American Rodeo. The American Performance Horseman. American Performance Horseman. Did I, did I leave that out? Yeah. yeah. Get it right. I'm glad you knew that. I mean, that's good that you you took yeah. part in it and you knew the title event because... We just been going to the American. I don't know. Yeah, we just call it American. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's the performance horsemen because we are performing and we're horsemen. Yeah. There you go. That makes there sense. I mean, yeah. <laughs> makes a lot of sense. Little scholar here. Yeah. So, <clears throat> anyway, it was cool. It was yeah. fun. It was, it was cool to cool. go to. It was neat to see. I didn't go last year, but no, I didn't either. This year, it was cool to walk in that building, and and wave at me. Yeah, like right away when we walked in there, I'm like. Dude, I see you riding. Look, we're at the left field foul pole. We were standing on a skid steer. JCB was a sponsor. I said, look at the yellow skid steer. Me and Monica are in the bucket. <laughs> oh, yeah, there you are. That was cool. That yeah, okay. was cool. And Joe called me or texted me, hey, right turn looks good. Well, I'm warming <laughs> up. That was, it was all pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's pretty great just the from the start of it, actually getting there. I mean, walking into that stadium i mean it was you're walking around the concourse and they got all the vendors and the place was packed with people they said they they had eighteen thousand people there i mean the whole thing to see our sport at that level drawn those kind of people and you know props to teton for doing it and and I, and you know, and we give props all the time, and I think you can you can't ever give too many props. Also to Taylor because Taylor Sheridan because I can tell you, walking around that concourse, Mandy and I got stopped no less than ten times for pictures from people that watched the last Cowboy. Do you have to take a picture of mom with somebody, or both of you? No, mom let me in the picture. <laughs> yeah, they, they wanted pictures of Mandy, but yeah. Tom was, yeah. Yeah. Tom was, but Tom was there too. Yeah. yeah. She, yeah. I didn't oh, know if oh, you were like oh, photographer or yeah, you just cut off, cut off a tail. Yeah. Yeah. I, didn't, I didn't know. I didn't really. Yeah, yeah. fine. You can get in her picture. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She yeah. knows I get a little pouty if they don't <laughs> let me in yeah. the picture. So, but it was fun. I mean, it was, it was great. And walking in and seeing all those people in that atmosphere and it's just something that I had. I know we did it last year, but I wasn't there either. And I've never seen anything like that. You know, like the run for a million is packed and it's it's just different. You know, it's four thousand people versus and it's and it's full to the brim, yeah. but it's just different than that atmosphere and that kind of a stadium. Well, and that's a horse facility too that we're at at run for a million, you know. Yeah. Yeah. It's and, different. And this is a baseball facility, I mean, but it was a cool Yeah. Have you guys been there before for seeing baseball games? Uh, hadn't seen a baseball game, but we watched the NFR the one year that it was there because of COVID. We we got in a suite with Purina. It was fun. Yeah, it, the the whole deal was fun, and I can tell you, like watching watching Cade with his get his horse ready, yeah, you know, a cool. new horse that ha that he hadn't shown before, and didn't really know, you know, none of the first time you show one. You would rather have it not be in front of eighteen thousand people and with you know the the noise and and all of that, and watching him and Fox television cameras going on, not just Waltonbury cameras, but yeah, <laughs> the cable cam, cable cameras, yeah, and and uh, you know you <clears throat> he Cade schooled him a lot there at at Tulsa, and then when it was Tulsa was done, we all came home. And he stayed to get into a couple of those arenas and uh, school him by himself. So I know you were trying to check all the boxes. And, uh, how, I mean. You did check them all, look yeah. like. Yeah. No, he, he was good. I almost I almost maybe checked too many boxes. I mean, my one regret is I maybe, <clears throat> I let the music and stuff get into my head a little bit too much. I was worried about him coming up because of the music, and he didn't. He showed perfect. 
I probably could have backed it off just a notch even. But now I know for the next one. Yeah. Yeah, mm. it was loud in there. Oh, oh it was so loud. It was a little too loud. Yeah. It's when you're in the arena, it's really hard to think about what's going on. Like I, like he, oh, that felt fine, but I, it's hard to it's really for me anyway, it's really hard to to know what's going on underneath you as much as I should probably. Well, we yeah. reference so much with the cheers that we get too. Yeah. Yeah. And after you get done turning, if it's dead silent, you're like, oh, yeah. that wasn't oh, yeah. good. good. Well, you yeah. have no idea if it no was dead idea. quiet or yeah. loud because yeah. it was just loud. Because it's just, yeah. Just exactly. music. I, I could hear my mom whistling after my right turn. So I said, oh, that's pretty good. Couldn't hear her whistling after the left turn. Well, it wasn't as good. But I could hear here and there a little bit. But I really, when I was done, I didn't have a lot of an idea of what, what had really happened. Yeah, well, she did whistle. You just didn't. No, hear. yeah, I just yeah. didn't hear. It. I'm sure she did, but I couldn't hear. It. But you said the smoke was yeah, so thick smoke. you couldn't see. After Andrea ran in, stopped, turned, and loped off, I walked down to the gate to see where I was gonna run in, and I couldn't see his slide tracks on the other end. Yeah, and and we he was draw one, I was draw two, so I don't know if the smoke cleared a little bit after the concert for the rest of the guys, but I couldn't see where to go. Yeah. I, I figured it out off of just looking at his tracks right in front of the gate. But I couldn't see his side tracks on the other end. And they, when they drug, they forgot the whole the center, right? Yeah, right where I you got. But he didn't know stuff. that. And I you saw it. And I texted you. Yeah. Well, we saw we it too from the tables. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. how do you do that with three tractors in that arena? Dude, there was three <laughs> tractors. Yeah. In there. And then when they yeah. left, they made two passes right in front of the chutes. Like, why didn't yeah. they go down the side and then go out and yeah. finish the center yeah. after yeah. they drug sideways? Yeah, that was awkward because the yeah. ground didn't look like it was amazing. It was a little wet. I think they said it got <clears throat> rained on the day we were supposed to move it in, so it was a little wet. Uh, but to do something like that and have cutting, raining, and us yeah, go, that's what I, was I mean, it's hard to make that. it perfect for everybody. Well, and everybody but... got stopped pretty good, maybe except yeah. for with the exception of Brian, and he yeah. had to swap his horse out last minute. So yeah. It was good enough. Yeah, it was fine. It was fine. It, I think it was maybe a little better last year, but this year it got rained on, and I, th- I think that was the biggest difference yeah. that it got rained on. Yeah. yeah. No, and it was it was fun hanging out because it's not something I know some cutters, but I didn't know those cutters. So it was fun hanging out back at the stalls and the coolest meeting part some to of the guys of being in it of the whole thing was Thursday night going in there, all fifteen of us riding all of our horses. We had just gotten there. The music was loud. The place was empty, but you could just there was a feel. Everybody, you could feel an energy. That was probably the coolest part to me. And being in there with Austin, Adon, all the top cutters, all the top cow horses. James Payne, Morgan, James Payne, Payne Corey Morgan, Cushing. Uh, yeah, Corey. Sarah Dawson. Yeah. I mean, I talked to Sarah. Both days we rode, we were two of the last ones in there. And we could walk around and just talk about getting our horses ready. And it's cool to hear. You know, I see Andre get ready. I see Casey get ready. I see Brian, Jason. I see how they do it. It's just cool to hear different different way of thinking from some of the other people and even though it's a different sport she she didn't I do much but she was in there walking a lot same stuff I was doing just trying to get used to the arena and that, that was neat to me to get to hang out with all those guys that I don't really know and you know I'm just 23 years old so I like people that even growing up I saw, always saw their names and, and that's cool to me yeah the team part looked like yeah. that was kind of cool yeah the team part added something to it but just it was more just you know your fifteen, the fifteen highest money earners from the year before in Western sports basically, yeah. and that was just it was very very neat for me to be in the same arena as everybody, and competing with with some of them and against some of them. But like I told Brian, I think the first night said obviously I want to win. Everybody wants to win, but I really just want us to go put on a show. I want it to be an all star game, a celebration where everybody likes. Where it, where everybody enjoys being there. That was the biggest thing to me. Is I wanted it to work for everybody, because it's it's such a cool deal. I want it to keep going, and we got to do our job for that a little bit. Yeah, yeah. I think y'all did for the most part. I mean, yeah, and I think the only yeah. I felt sorry for the cow horse guys because the cattle looked tough. Yeah. yeah so I mean, why don't you think Sarah should have got a new cow? I can't remember. 
I thought she did. Oh, I those... think there was I think there was a couple times where they could have whistled a new cow I thought in there. Sarah oh, and then I can't were... remember who was second. That one was kind of borderline, yeah. but then yeah. but then just they... about every cow that went they in were there was like he wanted want a new one. Yeah. yeah. I felt bad for Sarah. I thought she could. Well, and it's kind of an awkward size arena I think to show a cow horse in cuz yeah. it's wide. Yeah. For the boxing. So those if you're not really controlling your cow on the boxing, the cow gets away from you. Yeah, but yeah. it's also short, short down the long side where <clears throat> those guys do learn how to rate and control a lot. So, yeah. but I think with better cows, I mean, I think those guys could show in a shoebox or a, you know. Because last it year matter. there was at least three runs that marked over a twenty. The first year they did. Yeah, gotcha. I think it's just about the cattle, and they were tough. Yeah, cutting cows didn't look that tough, did they? I mean, the West cutting was, they were good. The, yeah, the cutting was pretty good. I yeah. thought. Yeah. James Payne was fun to watch in the cutting. He was getting after it. He yeah, was he getting was, yeah. after it. Yeah. And Adon's horse is just fancy to watch. Adon's yeah. horse is so stylish. I don't understand yeah. how they judge that cutting, but James Payne zigged and zagged five times as much as Adon, but Adon's horse is fancy yeah, down. That thing yeah. was slick. James yeah. Payne was just fun to watch because he was aggressive. He was, yeah. getting, he was getting after, after it. it. Yeah, cool. he was trying. Yeah. Yeah. A, yeah. Lot, a lot of people, including me that night, maybe showed a little bit tentative like not wanting to make a big mistake but he didn't he was like let's go yeah you didn't show tentative man you i mean i thought i mean tentative is somewhere they get you circling and i thought to me you you out circled everybody you circled a plus one both ways that's what i did i plus one both ways and everybody else half that horse was beautiful circling i think that that's a hard pattern to plus one because you only got two circles and they only did one circle though yeah well two instead of three is what he meant yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But and like you said, that arena is kind of an odd shape. So, yeah. I think as judges, uh, they maybe didn't take into consideration the size of the arena and how hard it was to really circle an actual plus one. Yeah, I mean, you can't you an NRBC plus one and a plus one there can't be the same thing just because you can't do it in that arena. Yeah, I yeah. think they didn't maybe take that into consideration enough is how hard it was to do what we were doing, but. I mean, for never mind. But what do you think, then? That's a wise choice to start talking. <laughs> it is generally a wise choice to just shut up whenever you start to think about talking about how they're judging. Okay, it's a good call. I I felt yeah. bad for uh, for Jason. Yes. Yeah. yeah I that mean, was to go. Problem. I don't know that I've ever seen Jason do that. He told me just yesterday, a couple days ago, first time he's ever spun three times. Yeah. Yeah, because what happened? Did he spin five? Was it the Fatur? It wasn't. It was at the Derby or somewhere a couple years ago, wasn't it? I don't know. Yeah, I don't remember. I don't Adam remember him said, spinning five times recently. Yeah. No, he spun. And I then remember him shut off and kind of went yeah. flying yeah. around. Oh yeah. Remember? I don't really remember. I, I remember, remember a rollback where he went to rollback and it spun all the way yeah. around. Yeah. <laughs> but his up. horse was good. Yeah. There, yeah. Too. Well, you then you say on the score sheets he yeah, won. Yeah, he was the winner. Yeah, they kept scoring yeah. them all the way through, <clears throat> but his horse just did everything. The yeah. only horse of the night that didn't have a bobble. Yeah, everybody well, else had one, yeah, and a yeah. couple of them had you know. Yeah. And that's Jason's why his horse that didn't horse. have a bobble. No, he just had one big bobble. Yeah, that's why he picked that horse is because that's what that horse is is solid, yeah. and in that event, it's really really hard to be solid. Yeah, and, yeah, but yeah. that uh, that's a uh, you know, and I don't, I'm not gonna for sure say that. I mean, Jason can handle the pressure of anything, but that's just a different, it's a distracting atmosphere. Yeah. And who knows? Maybe it was the loud music. Maybe it was the, yeah. you know, Jason was a baseball player. Maybe he felt more pressure being a baseball player. He told uh, me, I talked to him right after, he said that the horse just kind of started without him, like uh, took a step forward and started without him, and just he was just lost right off the bat. He was just yeah. lost. And in that setting, nobody's going to help bail you out because yeah, you no. can't hear him whistle. That's yeah, the exactly. hard part. Yeah. You I can mean, turn 10 times in there. Yeah. Cade, Cade yeah. and I get lost every... Oh, I can't speak for Cade, but I know I get lost every once in a while, but I don't panic. I just wait to hear the whistle. You know, Mandy yeah. will whistle and I... Oh, you got to love hearing the Mandy whistle where she just goes... Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Tom, Tom, I got you stopped, but that sucked. Yeah, yeah. Uh, exactly. but I still uh, love you. I, just, I still uh, love you, but yeah. honey, go faster. Yeah, the, the, I just at that point, I'm just like, yeah, oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. So you left Tulsa Wednesday. Left Tulsa Wednesday at about one in the morning, and then 
you got down to you went straight to Fort Worth? No, because we couldn't move in till two. So I came here. I came to the barn, dropped him off at the barn at like five in the morning. Slept for a few hours and then went down there. Went down there and then where do you uh, where do you park your horse trailer down there? Where do you unload parking your horse? Lot. You park them in the parking lot. You unload them. You walk them. Yeah, there's a tent with the stalls are in. Okay. Little warm up pen, probably the size of this room. Is Maybe. there a tunnel that gets you to field no. level or walk you... across the street? Oh yeah, you walk across the street, then go down the tunnel in there. Yeah. Gotcha. That was cool. You know, walking in there that first day was was very cool. I, I don't. It's hard to describe it because. I've done the million. I've done the wag. I've done. I've made the fraternity finals at nineteen. I've done all the stuff, but the first thirty minutes, twenty minutes, I just walk, trot, lope, because I was not in a place to be doing, doing any this? horse training. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I had, I had jitters. I had the butterflies. I, yeah. I was just very intense. A lot of adrenaline, and I'm just gonna wait twenty minutes. Let this kind of come down a little bit before I do anything. So you ride them Thursday, and then you put them up. Maybe. Friday morning we can ride again. Are you getting interviewed? Like you guys had pictures and this and that. Like did they drive you nuts making no. you do pictures and talking to cameras? Well, f- so Thursday we didn't do anything. Friday morning we rode, uh, then watched the cow horse. And right after the cow horse we had to do a few interviews, a few yeah. pictures. But they mostly, they they want us to just go get get the job oh, sure. So when you say watch the cow horse, so the cow horse guys had to do a rain work yeah. in the morning. <clears throat> the cow horse did yeah. the rain work in the morning. With just us watching, because for the individual, for it to count for the cow horse, they have to have a reining and a fence work. Mm-hmm. For the team, the fence work only counted, not the rain work. Which okay. is good, because I think it wasn't like that, was it, <coughs> no, last, last year? last year it wasn't like that. Which, and Sarah and Justin had a big lead going in, so it was kind of already... Yeah, it was a little anticlimactic last oh, year. Oh, gotcha. So, okay, so they switched it to it's just the yeah. fence work. For us. For the team, yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah. then you show, and you come close. I mean, your horse was good. Yeah. Just burst out, huh? Yeah, backing up, just jump sideways. But it was fun. I Yeah, I wish I could have done a little better, right? I ver- you always wish you could do a little bit better. But I was very happy with him. And it was very fun for me to get get back on my phone and go on Facebook, and you're there in your red suit. and. Yeah. He's there in a red cowboy hat, right? No, Shocked. no. With a feather in it? I, have, I think I have yeah. a picture. Yeah, we got a picture I didn't actually bring it. You had, I didn't actually wear yeah. it to the show. Yeah. You well, had, there's a picture of it. Yeah. I do have a picture of it. Yeah, yeah. we'll put a picture yeah. of Joe's red hat here. Yeah. Yeah. My custom hat that I spray painted that day. Yeah. yeah. So that was cool. Yeah. And then, you know, all my high school buddies were there. Yeah. yeah. There was 10 or 12 of my high school friends. They never yeah. get to watch And me. half of them are Jordan. Yeah. Or <laughs> brother of Jordan. Yeah. I saw one guy, I'm like, God, that looks like Jordan. And then another one, that one looks like Jordan too. Yeah. <laughs> They're all the same. Yeah, Similar build. All, but all your friends, they <laughs> yeah. look the same. Yeah. Then I finally saw the real Jordan. Like, yeah, oh, there he is. Yeah, no, that's, that's pretty true. Yeah. No, it was cool. We had our little section. Yeah. You know, yeah. kind of spread out, had your buddies, and then, yeah, Gunny and Monica. Yeah. Right that there. Was, it was cool. 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 And then get to go out with them afterwards and stuff. And, and like I was telling my dad a couple days ago, it's, it's a little bit like going to a baseball game and knowing the first baseman. You know, yeah. that's yeah. the way I was thinking about it. Because I was like, oh, it's cool. All you guys are showing up for me. But then Jordan was also saying that, like, dude, it's like going to a, a baseball game and you're the first baseman. And my best friend is the first baseman. Yeah. Like, it's cool. He said he got nervous, like, before I went in and stuff. And I never even thought of yeah. that. Yeah. Don't embarrass me, Cade. <laughs> yeah. 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 But that, yeah. to me, like, to, to think cool. of my high school, my or my very best, my second, one of my very best friends. You're not getting, gonna offend anybody. <laughs> getting nervous, you know, yeah, yeah. that kind of deal is is cool for me yeah, anyway. Yeah. It's a, well, and he's not a horse person yeah, either, so it's a different. completely non horse yeah. person. <clears throat> but he's yeah. been to the million now the last couple of years and been to this, and he's just now picking up like if something goes bad, like he knew when my horse jumped sideways back enough, like oh that's not good. Yeah, you yeah. Know? And he was pissed, but and that's cool for me. Yeah. Yeah. That was fun, and then and I think it was great that you bought tickets for everybody whose horses you won money on last year. Yeah. So everybody basically, you know, that's what got you there was showing. How many horses did you show last year that won money? Twenty three or four, a lot more yeah. than more than anybody else. Me and Fernando showed more horses than anybody else last year. 
But that was your goal at the beginning of the year. You were showing in 500 added open classes yeah. too because you wanted a little difference to mean something yeah. to you. I had team. one goal last year. Yeah, was to qualify for qualify that. Qualify for that. Because yeah. it, cause it was the only thing I hadn't done yet. Yeah. And now I've done it. And it, now I've done it, and I would almost say I want to do it more than I did last year. Cool. Mm. And when I left there, I was like, I, I got to get back. It's It just does that. It's an addicting feeling. Mm. Yeah, because now you know what to expect. Yeah. yeah. And you get to look forward to it again because it'll be on no, TV. TV. Yeah. It'll be on Fox. Like tomorrow, and, right? Saturday. 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 Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and it'll, it'll be, that'll be a lot of fun. Yeah. Do you think people will be tuning into that show or our show? <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Probably. Yeah. Ours yeah, comes see, out Friday oh. night, but <clears throat> and our yeah. tens of viewers probably will. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Again, you can't be knocking our viewership. We just it's thousands. Yeah. We have tens of thousands. Us. Sorry, yeah, thousands. Uh, you, you are right, Joe. J- Gunny and I joke about not very yeah, many gotta, viewers, but we do. We have a lot of. We do have a lot of viewers. Support our people. We're gonna lose twenty percent of viewership because they're here right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I called. Uh, I, uh, well. I can't remember the name. Josh. Okay. Josh. I called Josh. Thanks, Kate. I called Josh with the uh, that runs that does the publicity and stuff for Teton does Ridge. Does everything for the. Does Americans. everything for yeah. Teton Ridge, and uh, I said, "Hey, we're going to do a show a little bit on this. Got a couple questions for you." I said, uh, "A couple of buddy of, buddies of mine and do a couple of buddies of mine. We do a podcast, and they said he said, oh, I'm a big fan of the show.'" So and then sweet. we heard about it. it took me a while to get that out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then he so told everybody there, "Hey, Josh watched the show." Yeah. Tom yeah. was so excited he called me and told me about it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was yeah. great. So and I, you know, and one of the things I I talked to him a little bit about was. So you know, we all saw there, a lot of people are, were frustrated that there was no you know you. We're all on Facebook. A lot of people on Facebook were frustrated that there was no live feed. Well, the thing is, when you do, and according to Josh, and I can't, you know, we we talked about it. We kind of knew this anyway. Mm-hmm. When you do a deal with a network TV, you can't have a live feed. I mean, that's you can't. That's theirs at that right. point. Yeah. So, you know, they did the deal with network TV, which, in my opinion. It's way better to have us in front of millions of people that have never seen it before than each individual person. And I guess one of the things that bothered me a little bit is a lot of the people that were complaining about not having a live feed lived an hour from from Dallas. Right. Yeah. You know, go watch it. Go support our industry. Go, you know, I mean, it's um, <clears throat> when they're going to be able to see it tomorrow. Yeah, right. And it's going to be badass because yeah. it's network TV. I must, so I wait, must say, wait a week. Yeah. It was fun to get dressed up there and go. Because yeah. me and Monica went to town early that morning to go get clothes to go to that thing. So yeah. I got lucky and found the red jacket. Uh, but you look pretty slick, too. Oh, man. Fuck, you, look, you actually look really good. Huh? Yeah. Huh? Well, I can, yeah. I mean, I, I had can, a lot of fun going there, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I think, we all did. Cool. But I think, I mean, I almost think that not having a live feed and making you go there is the way to do it. Because there are so many people that support our business within a two-hour drive of that facility, a three-hour drive of that facility. There's so we. But and you know how many people flew in to watch? Yeah. How many people did you see on Facebook flying to the American? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's a cool thing to go to. Yeah. And instead, it's so much easier to look at the small picture and bash it instead of look at the big picture look at what's yeah. going on here yeah. oh a bunch of horse people were posting on facebook that they flew in just to and they went to both days yeah yeah no i, I think i think it was great that I, I just think it's great that teton ridge is doing that and the thing is if teton ridge does not come in to the picture then there is no american horseman no. i mean that was the american rodeo at one point only and so i don't know if this is true or not this is what i heard the american rodeo was losing money and was in danger of of going away and teton ridge came in and bought it bought the rodeo bought the rodeo and then added this so it's a little bit frustrating i'm not gonna lie it's a it it is 
it's not it's more than a little bit frustrating it's very frustrating for me to see people on facebook bashing teton ridge and uh you know a, a lot of the comments are you know thanks a lot teton ridge you know you know you're all about the money and we can't watch it and well i guarantee you they're losing money yeah it's not yeah. about the money it's not about the money <clears throat> no. it, it's so they don't lose a super yeah. large amount of yeah. money. Yeah. Yeah. They're trying to help save some money. That's the thing. Know. People are so wrong. I mean, yeah. they're just so far wrong yeah. on some of the stuff. Yeah. But it's also oh. the same people on Facebook complaining about the same thing. Doesn't yeah, but what also, it is. I also think when you step out on a limb and you do something different, something big, something like this, there's always going to be somebody that's not happy. Yeah. I mean, no. yeah. So, yeah. Uh, no, and, and some of those people that were complaining on Facebook are. I like them. They're friends of mine. But I think sometimes you can't see any further than what's right here yeah. and what you feel is good for you. I mm -hmm. wanted to stay home that night and watch it on Facebook. Well, why Teton is putting up millions of dollars to put on this this show. And I, there's nothing wrong with going there and buying a ticket and supporting it yeah. to help put us in front of the millions of people on the weekend. Yeah, yeah. so, I mean... On the way, on the way home, uh, in our limo, <laughs> you took a limo. Oh yeah, did you really? Oh yeah, Mr. Did you, Allen, did Mr. You Mr. Allen Chapel does it right. He picked oh, us up. That's right. Did you guys stay the night down there? No, no, you no. went that night. We we went, <clears throat> but we on the stayed. way home, we were just talking about it, wondering what it would cost, and it cost somewhere between three hundred thousand and a million dollars to rent that facility for one night. Yeah. It cost. I only looked up what. It costs to book Luke Bryan, and he's a million and a half to two million dollars to book him. Yeah. So I don't know what post. I imagine Post Malone's the same. Po post Malone, Malone was two point five to six million, depending on the venue. Yeah. There, there you go. So I looked that up too. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's what Megan said. We, Teton, right when we got Teton's there, Teton's losing money. Yeah. Right when we yeah. got there, she looks around. She goes, "There's no way this place is making money." Yeah. yeah. Teton's losing money. They are donating to the performance horse industry. Yeah. Yeah. So, without a doubt. So. Without a doubt. I don't think I don't think you can say thank you or be, or be nice enough to Teton or to Taylor, because they have done stuff for our industry that has just taken it to another level. We take, we can sell horses higher. We. We, everything we, there's more people there's it's just they have completely transformed everything that we know you know we're getting ready for the million qualifier nick well i'm not but you guys are and because he's oh, already qualified well, right. <laughs> yeah. hey, oh, but you guys yeah. are. he met oh just, that's right you just guys you because we're gonna i'm going out there with flip-flops on it's flip-flop weather again oh hey. sorry about looking at hey what feet. about your friend <laughs> your feet friend oh yeah <laughs> yeah yeah, no, I, I foot I, fetish I, people. It's yeah. flip flop weather. Again. <laughs> That's right. Back to that. Yeah. No, I agree. Sorry. Those guys have done a, a ton yeah. for the industry, and you know, not everybody is on board with that. We are because we make, you know, money in this industry. So we always make our money. So it's great. When I was a kid starting out at this, nobody had any money in this. And when if you were a horse trainer, it was for the love of training horses, and. That's it. There, there was no money in being a horse trainer, no matter, really, no matter what level. And now it's turned into an industry that you can actually, you know, make, make a little money and, and try to have a retirement someday. It's really turned into a business. But not everybody likes that. You know, there's a, there's a certain group of people out there that misses being able to buy that horse that they can go show for $20,000. And, you know, I mean... It's, it's really hard. It's like anything. The more popular it gets, it's just supply and demand, and and everything's more expensive. You know, hay's more expensive, health's more expensive. I mean, it, it just is. It is what it is. But as unrealistic as it is, there are people out there that don't love that our industry has gotten to a point where it's hard for them to play. <clears throat> There's still, like, club-level shows you can go show yes. at on weekends and yes. stuff. I mean, yes. there's shows around That's not where they want to play, though. No. I understand. They, they want to be at the Super Bowl play. all the time. Yeah, they yeah. want to play at the very top level for the yeah. for this yeah. amount of money. Yeah. And, you know, I mean, it's just unrealistic. And I, you know, 
those people have a place to play, but I also feel awesome that the thing that I love to do, that we all love to do, is getting this kind of exposure. Yeah. You know, <clears throat> it's pretty amazing. And then the next day, so Mo, I, Mandy and I stayed. Tim Anderson got us a hotel room down there at the Lowe's. Is that what we call it? Yeah, Lowe's so. Hotel. Yeah. And, man, unbelievable hotel. And right there within right walking there. distance. Yeah. 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 It was perfect. Thank you, Tim Anderson, and and Kim Niven. So it was it was um, it was fun for us to stay and go to the the American Rodeo. And to be honest with you, I you know we were there, got up a little bit late, went and had brunch. Okay, now what do we do? It doesn't start till three thirty. I knew it was going to go because they have a they have a long go and then a short go. So they t- they run how many? 15 maybe 15 guys and then get it down to it's 10 or 15 maybe 15 get it down to four for four the short four. go yeah. and so it started at 3 30 and and the post malone concert didn't start till nine and i was like oh man it's gonna be a long but it went fast i mean yeah. they're so good at at production yeah and i love that stuff i mean it was you know, I, I love the rope and the bulldog and the bull ride. Yeah. I mean, I love all that stuff, watching it, and those guys are at the top end. And you know what? I forgot. I was going to call somebody and ask them what the difference was between the qualifiers that could run for a million. Can't remember. There's some, so it has something to do with you are not in the top however many. Yeah, you're you're either not a professional or you're not one of the top top. Are you people. qualified to get in instead of getting invited maybe or something? Yeah, you for yeah. sure you qualified to get in, but... A qualifier had to beat somebody that was in there, and a qualifier won the barrel race and won the million bucks, huh? Yeah. Oh, wow. And I felt, and I actually, and I, for sure, none of us know what the hell we're talking about. That may not even be how it works. Yeah. But a qualifier did so they're the only ones. There's a million bucks to the qualifiers, and if there's one of those guys win, they win a hundred thousand for winning their event, and then if there's five of them, they would split the million. So it's two hundred thousand apiece. Well, there was only one this year, yeah. so he won a hundred thousand for winning and the barrel race, a million. and then won a million. Wow! And I felt I, honestly, I felt bad for him because the crowd booed. Oh, why? I think because they don't understand, they feel like it's a guy getting in the swimming yeah. and girls swimming, you know? Yeah. I think they, you know how the... the oh, because he was a guy barrel The racer, trans yeah. guys or yeah, whatever. Yeah. Whoa, easy. <laughs> Jesus. Easy. Yeah, dude. <laughs> wow. Get, we just went into a whole gonna, different realm. <laughs> hey, yeah. I we, think, could, okay. we could get canceled by this. Yeah. I, think, wow. I think you can say up. trans guys. Dave? <laughs> Dave, Dave uh, Williams, can you say uh, this? All has been woke. Okay, <laughs> yeah, wow. this has been woke. Yeah. Wow. So it was a it was a guy barrel racer. Yes, and he won everything. He yes. won the million, oh, and he got wow. booed. And the crowd booed. No and kidding. I felt bad for him because the horses aren't like that. You know, right, I mean, yeah. it's not. He's just the horse he's, people aren't even like that. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. no, and and uh, um, so. Um, Miles Baker, I talked to him a little bit, of, and he was telling me that guy's stories from out east, and he wanted to be a calf roper, but there wasn't enough people out there, but he really wanted to do the riding thing, and so that's what he ended up doing is running barrels and training barrel fraternity horses. And that's the thing. In, in that world, in professional rodeo, women are the only ones that run barrels. But in the rest in the of the world, stuff, yeah, the fraternity stuff, guys. Oh do it, yeah. Right? yeah, all kinds of guys run yeah. barrels. Right. Well, all, just in the fraternity. all kinds of people. I mean, yeah. <laughs> they all do it. Yes, <laughs> yeah. Whoever the they guys. are, <laughs> guys and they girls, them. How, they them. However <laughs> many genders are, they do it. <laughs> that's right. Uh, that's. Do we have to have this conversation that's on fair. our show? <laughs> Like, can we have this conversation when it's just you three? <laughs> well, He's got a point there. Yeah, yeah that's right. This is, Ru- when Ru- they talk about the show on. that I was on, this is going to be what they talk about. <laughs> Let's move past it. Yeah. But but at any rate, and yeah. it's because we know in the 
it doesn't matter if it's the the jumpers, the cutters, the cow horses, the rain. Women can be as competitive as yeah, anybody. Yeah, it doesn't matter. And the, the same number thing. Number one rider in the cow horse last year was Sarah. Yeah. 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 So Morgan, maybe two Morgan years Cromer ago. was there in the cotton. Yeah. 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 I mean, no, it doesn't matter. Yeah, if, if for sure in the barrel. So it's just if people weren't used to seeing that, and I think the reaction was the cr- from the crowd was like he was one of those guys that squeaked in that somehow. Does, no, no, that's not what I'm saying. Yeah, oh. sorry. Have you been here for the last yeah. five minutes? No, that's what I'm saying. Like he accidentally like. Why is he in there with the girls? Is what they were, they were booing for. I think they were saying like what like he's the guy. He's the transgender guy that got on the. Yeah, but he's not transgender. No, no, no. I don't no, think he's. Quit. But it wouldn't yeah. matter if he was. No, <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's all okay too. <laughs> yeah, it wouldn't matter if he was. But yeah. I don't think he is. The point. Yeah. No, it, he's the not. The point of it is, is there's no unfair advantage for right. him. Yes. He's, right. For sure. But they thought there was. That's what the booing. Hey, was. did I tell you <laughs> what you did said? I tell you guys that I went golfing yesterday and I shot 94. Right. And the That's, biggest part of the reason that I shot so bad, I figured out, was because I didn't have any vodkas before I started golfing. Yeah, yeah, but you acted like that was a problem. It and is a problem, no. and right now this conversation is a problem. <laughs> yeah. I think I need another drink. Go get another drink. <laughs> no, so, no, no. Okay. Yeah, my mom's not here to refill the drink. Yeah. It's all good. It's all mm. good. But anyway, that was. Uh, I felt bad for the guy, yeah. except for when he got his. Check two checks, one yeah. for a yeah. yeah. hundred yeah. thousand. Two gold buckles, I bet. He didn't flip yeah. anybody off or anything, so he's a good guy. A million Dude. bucks, that's million cool. Million bucks, pretty good deal. I wonder yeah. how much the IRS takes off of winning a million half. bucks at a horse show. Probably half, right? Or forty percent? Mm-hmm. Well, I don't know. And uh, you know, that's a great question. I, uh, you know, I don't want to get too deep into that, but I think uh, prize money. I don't know. It's a great question. So then how was the concert post Malone? No, no. Actually, we you know? should ask about the Luke Bryan concert. Luke Bryan. Yeah. Well, yeah, it was Luke Bryan. Yeah. Luke Bryan first. Yeah. On, well, that, Thomas Toll's band was there. I preferred. That was I, the first band. They were awesome. Yeah. Which one? Thomas Toll. Yeah, band. he was playing. Oh. Thomas Toll was playing, he was playing the guitar. drums. Was it drums or guitar? He's a guitarist. Is that the Ghost Hounds? Yeah. yeah. He was the guitarist. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, really? Hmm? I didn't hear one of those songs. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I couldn't understand the guy singing very good, but I saw I, I saw the guitar player. I just didn't hear any of them. I was yeah. like, ah, what? I got a show next <laughs> the whole time. He called he called me uh, uh, earlier in the day, and I, he goes, I forget what you asked me about. He goes, dude, I've only got one toms left. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's a I feel like it. really. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, I'm saving dude. it. Oh yeah, I'm saving it's it. Saving it. Saving that this has to be perfect timing. <laughs> Yeah, the struggle is real. Yeah. Yeah. Don't want to use this up. Be stuck. Yeah. Don't want to run well, out of Tums when you're yeah. at the American. I like Luke Bryan pretty good. Uh, I like Post Malone really well. I like them both. Yeah. But Luke Bryan, I could understand what he was singing. Yeah. And Luke Bryan put on a great show. Yeah. Put on a great show, and I was, I was well lubricated, <laughs> at that point. <laughs> Might have. Like rumor dancing rumor. on a table lubricated. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's the and rumor. Yeah, have, have video of that, right? We have video of that playing right here. I'm very happy I wasn't there. Yeah. Like oh, really you, happy. Oh, you'd have been proud of me, son. Yeah. <laughs> son, back in my day, I oh, told yeah. you I had the moves. <laughs> I had the moves. <laughs> dancing on the table. Yeah. That table yeah. was wobbling. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, that for, table was close to giving up. Forget about that. and then the the dismount was amazing. Yep, you yeah. hurt yourself? No, uh, not shocking, at all. Shocking, huh? Not at all. I just jumped right off of that like a professional athlete. When you landed, like, did you go? Oh, oh it's good. okay. That could have gone check. Worse. Body, body check. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing shattered. <laughs> like you yeah. jumped and then halfway. Oh shit! Yeah. Oh, this, this might hurt. I'm a gazelle. <laughs> I <don't, laughs> I oh, I'm a hippo. You guys are I'm a hippo. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. No fat shaming on the show. Hey, yeah, you can't be doing that anymore. I, I, feel, I feel like we're crossing a bunch of lines we shouldn't cross. Guys. Yeah. yeah. Being fat's I mean, okay. Yeah. Nothing wrong with fat people. 
Oh, and God. hippos are actually really amazing animals. Well, they're yeah. yeah so it they're wasn't necessarily dangerous. They're animals. fast. And yeah, they're fast. very fast. Very dangerous. <laughs> they, I think they're the most dangerous animal in the world. Actually, they you ever seen a whole pool? watermelon? <laughs> <laughs> you ever <laughs> seen one in a pool? <laughs> in, a, in a water, I mean. <laughs> in a water. I was thinking of when we used to play pool ball, and he had his and he's pointing at me. There's no fat shaming here. <laughs> no, right. no fat shaming. You had your underwater. Yeah, when you go into the water, yeah, you would attack. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. The yeah. submarine hippo that's, move. That's, yeah, it's yep. yeah. Yeah, yeah, that was, was crazy. They used to dominate you guys. Yeah. No, yeah. absolutely. Ba- basket, basketball, pool. Pool, pool basketball. basketball. Yeah. And Gunny could take a ball, take it underwater. You see the shoot like a summer. Yeah. I'm like Will yeah. Chamberlain in the pool. I could just <laughs> dunk on you guys and mull you around. And, if you yeah. Google, if you Google hippo attacking a boat, that looked like Gunny going under the water. Pew, yeah. Swim. He's a strong swimmer. Where'd he go? I'm not. <laughs> yeah. And I'm not. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yep. Absolutely. And I'm not saying it because it has nothing to do with the size. The size. Oh, it's no. okay, you guys. I've, I've officially. Yeah. You're a strong I, swimmer. It's okay, yeah. you guys. Yeah, I'm actually. This yeah. is show 62. This is my last episode. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I will no longer be attending the show. <laughs> Y'all are going to have to find another. Uh. Uh, uh, and host, yeah, yeah. No, he's no, just the, a strong swimmer. That's the agility, all. That was the, point. the agility no. of it, the yeah. power. Because I can't. Because it's not like you see a deer swimming and they're just too slow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, but he can, can swim move. like. Yeah, no, hippos can move. Okay, you look like my. Google Michael Phelps. <laughs> there we go. I'm trying maybe, that. Maybe AI Michael maybe Phelps you, hippo. Maybe, <laughs> maybe you guys should Google me to the the Yukon woman. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> the Lydia Thomas, man. I mean, we were oh, talking about oh, that. Oh, right. Is that right. her name? I mean, yeah. Right. no, that might be. Oh, yeah. 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 Now we're they back were to a strong them. swimmer, yeah. too. Why did, why did we go back to that? Yeah. They, they we were, were a strong that. swimmer, too. <laughs> yeah. We were past that. Oh, yeah. son of a gun. Yeah, well, I just, I mean, I think you got to yeah. include everyone. No, you uh, two in the pool was like Kobe and Shaq. Yeah. Well, not really Kobe, but yeah. somebody like that. It was like, was good. yeah, me and Gunny were like two UFC heavyweights trying to get the ball in the basket. Yeah. And me and Joe just stood on the outside <laughs> and watched you guys. Uh, it was rough. No, that was that was good fun. But anyway, so we got sidetracked. How, okay, how do, we, how do we talk about the American? Back to the Post Malone. It was. Uh, I was looking forward to it, and I, I really was looking forward to it because I've you know I've seen him on Rogan and I've seen yeah. him on a few shows, and he just seems like a good dude. Yeah. And uh, have you I like... seen him on the Breakfast Club? No, dude. When he hit stardom on the Breakfast Club podcast, that Charlemagne the God was hard on him. I mean, horrible to him in his first interview. Really? Yeah. Post Malone was super nice, super polite, just took it like a champ. Six months later, goes back for another one. Charlemagne tears him up again, tries to. Like, he's a complete dick to him. Really? You guys never saw that? No. no. Oh, man. Sounds like it'd be right up our alley, though. Yeah. Like, yeah. he'd get along with Tom real good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So now, how was it more packed? Way more people? Oh, it was packed to the brim. Yeah, it was packed to the brim. I don't know how many pl- people that thing seats, but it was packed. And it was three and a half. It was 3.30 to, to 8.30, so it's five hours of show. And it was, it was good. I mean, it was like... So the, they have a great, the clown, the rodeo clown, was really good about keeping everybody entertained funny. and doing stuff. Yeah, funny, doing stuff with the audience. And, and uh, you know, I love the whole rodeo scene, so it was fun for me to watch all of that. But we were looking forward to, to Post Malone, and you just couldn't hear him. I mean, you it was couldn't... too loud? Yeah, it was just noise. I mean, yeah. you couldn't really decipher were you the at words. Table or were you in the stands for that? We were in the stands. Which I don't think it makes a difference. But yeah. And that's another... That that would be the only other thing I would say for me. Um, we were at the tables for the rainy. And that was great. And your seats looked pretty good. Yeah. I sat for the rodeo on the other side where you're, you're really a long ways away. Yeah. I mean, you're kind of watching the monitor. Yeah. And I don't know what else you could do about that because you can only, with the buck and shoots and the horses and the bulls, and yeah. you can only take was, so much room. I was actually curious if they could twist that arena a specific way. way to get it closer to one side of the stands because yeah. they kind of got it cattywampus where 
no seats are really close. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's just right in the middle. It's just yeah. right in the middle from home plate to center field, basically. Yeah. yeah. The tricky part of that is looking around in there, there was there was people all around it. Like I think if you had it on one side and you tried to to you know direct your ticket sales to that side. The problem is the people on the way, way top, I mean, you'd have to put people way up and then they'd be so far away. Yeah. yeah. I don't, you know, I don't know. Our seats were good for watching the cutting. It was perfect for yeah. watching you guys. It was tough. And the cow horse was, the cow horse was tough because the judges were on the opposite side yeah. and they were bringing the cows down. And then watching the, the TV, it kept changing. So it was, it was tough to watch what you guys were doing. Yeah. You I would say though, see. if I, I mean, not, I, if I was to change anything about it as a spectator, I would like to see more horses. I would like to see eight or ten because it's a it's a long trip down there, and uh, well, I mean it's not yeah, that long. And the rain and and all that is over in a jiffy. Yeah, yeah. And right. the cow horse is over, and you know it's what? a minute a horse, and they yeah, could cow make horse it goes too fast. I imagine they could make it faster for television because it's made for tv right yeah i imagine they could edit it to make it quicker for tv yeah to make it yeah, yeah. but I've, you're you're saying that but i also like to run for the million better when it was 12 people showing not 16 yeah last That's year a, it was I think too it long needs to be between eight and ten because it's hard to have 15 horses of that caliber go bam 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 yeah, yeah. i mean there's really eight to ten horses of that caliber that that are you you want to go show kind of yeah. my, that's what I think. Yeah. The the only th yeah. And I mean for me personally even if it wasn't 10 if it was 8 I would rather see a few more horses cuz the cow horse to me was very like it was over, it's over? so fast. Yeah. yeah, I mean it was cuz they they run things fast anyway and then it is a minute in that in that little pen it was about a minute to run and and even the rain and adjusting that to just a one large fast and one small slow, everything went kind of too fast for me. Yeah, like yeah. I, because I didn't go there. It's so. kind of like going to a hockey game for me. I mean, you get there, you're excited, and then the game's over. I think hockey's too fast too. Hockey's <laughs> hockey yeah, takes three, a long time. Long time. Yeah. Like two or three yeah, hours. Yeah. Yeah. The hockey yeah. game There's, I went to was over was fast. Fast. twenty minutes. <laughs> 20, yeah. 20 minutes are hockey games. It sucked. It? Hockey's terrible you game to play. Pilot for yeah. hockey team or something? Yeah. 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 I don't remember, but it was terrible. Couldn't yeah. stand it. Table never, hockey. Never going back. Yeah. Roll, yeah. Rollerblade hockey on the freaking driveway. Yeah, no, I don't think that's how hockey works. <laughs> yeah, that's not at all. There's you three, went to something else. There's three periods that are all like. 10, how long are the periods? 20 minutes. 20 minutes. 20 yeah. minutes. Yeah. Yeah. I know that. <laughs> yeah. Huh. No, it's but it's uh, <laughs> so you just watch one period. That yeah, that's, maybe, but the churros were excellent. That's just for Speedy me because those are the top guys, and I get so the the run for a million. I the fifteen head is great. You said it got a little long. Sixteen head, it's sixteen too head, long. twelve. But, but I didn't feel that way. Like when I was the one year I comment commentated, and then. Last year when I didn't and stayed back, I mean, that's a big crowd. I don't. I think that's about the right number, F fifteen or sixteen, and because they drag on three or four, three, oh, yeah. three, <clears throat> three, and that's not that's not normal. I think it's right for that much money. I think it's great. It would be great if they could develop some kind of a system where after every horse you could just whoosh, wipe it clean and everybody'd have the oh, there's same a way, shot. There's a way to do it, but. You know, you I, gonna do it? No, but yeah, but anyway. I can't believe they don't ask me to commentate on the run for the million. They ask you, but not me. I know I say that word a lot, but I could control it. I don't know. I don't think you can. No, yeah, I'm but I'd be too. way fucking better. <laughs> beep, beep. <laughs> I'd be way better. Than... You'd be better than me. No, no, not you. I wasn't gonna name any names, but you, you know can. the other people. No. <laughs> you know how good we'd people. be together. They should have oh, us commentate. They should on shut it. up the show. Oh, do it the three of you. Yeah. Live commentation. Yeah, commentation. I don't, I don't think that's a word. I either. just made it up. <laughs> live. Put that on live from Las Vegas. The show. <laughs> Why can't it be a word? Sounds yeah, like it should be like one. one. But I, as much as I like you guys, I'd rather hope I'm showing in the 
Yeah. Million this Steven, year. We hope you do. Steven too. went to college. He's going to find that commentation yeah. Google. is a word. C O M. So yeah. the people, the, <clears throat> the guys that were putting it on, all the people that you were dealing with behind the scenes, how they think that everybody, everything went. I think they were happy. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I think they were happy. I just talked to two of them, really. But I think overall they were happy. And I, that crew that they have is unbelievable. I mean, they, they really do everything they can, make sure we got everything we need at all times, help us through everything. Josh, you know, phone call away. Every time you call him, he answers. First ring. Holly, you know, texting all of us in a group and making sure we're where we need to be all the time. And they that whole crew and everybody, all the little ins and outs of everything, and they... They bust their butt, and it's it's very. They do a very very good job at making sure we're where we need to be. And that horse that you showed, his name was Finals Bound, and he's owned now by the Four Sixes Ranch. Were they there that night? Yeah. Um, obviously not everybody, but yeah, uh, Nathan Canaday was there. He had a table, so that was cool. You know, I got to meet. I never met him before. I ran the deal through Taylor, so I got to meet him. They they do an owner owners meet and greet there. And we all got to hang out and, and talk and whatever, and that was that was cool. Mm-hmm. It's cool for all the owners, I think, to have that opportunity because it is a neat deal. I mean, your horse showing on in front of that many people, it is neat. It's neat for everybody to be able to come hang out. That, and that's a, that's another comment that I heard, and it's not it's not a big deal. It's it's just a it's small in the big picture. But another comment, a couple of times I heard it is that it would be nice. If they had the horses breeding and the horses owner on mm. were involved a little bit, maybe they will on the yeah. production though. Not they didn't have it there, but maybe they will yeah. on the yeah. TV. Show. But I mean, as for people sitting in the stands, yeah, yeah, um, well, he I said agree. it would have been nice to see how the horses were because because it was all the couple people I talked to were they were there for the horses, not yeah. the concerts, not their yeah. horse people. Yeah. And they thought it would have been cool to see how the horses are bred and who owns them. And well, maybe they will next time. Yeah, they. they that's mean, the thing. Josh it's, watches our show. That's he's a fan of the show. <laughs> he's yeah. a fan of the show. We need to get the names and, and pedigrees, name of the owners and the pedigrees of the horses. And we're a fan of Josh and their show. Yeah. So it's. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I, but I think it's a work in progress. I mean, yeah. I think like everybody. I mean, it's this is the second year they've done it, and I think. This year probably ran smoother than last year, and I think, you know, as they go. Do you think they're going to be capable of continuing this? I hope so. I really hope so. I, I believe there's a – is there a – did I read there's a five-year uh, – yeah. I think there's a five-year contract, but as per normal, we don't really know what we're talking well, about. Well, I mean, you can rip no. up a contract. There right? should be a di- disclaimer before every show – that we don't know what the we hell we're talking about. We don't know what we're talking about. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, disclaimer. Of this is we have no sketchy. idea what yeah. the hell we're talking about. Yeah. 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 It's okay. But it doesn't stop us from talking. No. no. Yeah. That's the best we're, part. But we're right. We got okay. a lot of yeah, but we got right. a lot of good guesses. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Could they do without the smoke? Uh, yeah, does does that know. add to anything? I mean, just putting that out there, loved everything else, but turn down the volume, easy on the smoke. Where was the smoke? They in were the doing arena. fireworks. What? I couldn't see. There was a. Sm- he said he couldn't story? see when he was uh, running in. They, they I were saw ju- him. There was, dude. The judges. <laughs> the judges. Dude, the quit. judges had to look through smoke. The There's judges a lot had of trouble. smoke, and then trying to take well, pictures in there is like impossible. You didn't see the smoke, dude. dude Are you serious? I think the fireworks that they do afterwards, like the remember Goldberg when he used to come in and <laughs> and the fireworks come in. I think that's awesome what they do after, but not before. Yeah. Y'all remember Goldberg and the. The wrestler? Yeah. yeah. Do you feel yeah. like Goldberg when they turn in fireworks on? No. Oh. I don't know what Goldberg is. I don't know Goldberg, who Goldberg is. What? Gotta put a picture of Goldberg. <laughs> <laughs> it was the yeah, smoke. It was a little smoke. It was a little smoky. Was and I just thought I drank too much. Dude, no. Dude <laughs> you we, did. You did. Yeah, you we, definitely did. You were dancing on a table. <clears throat> table. Yeah. That yeah. you know isn't and structurally then, sound for the, two people to dance at on. At the bar right after? But it was. Well, Ooh. for me and my dance partner was Melissa Van Dorp, and she's not big. So that was helpful. That's yeah. what helped from the table collapse. If I had danced with a big old girl like myself... <laughs> That table will forever that have a wobble. Yeah. No, no, that table will forever yeah. have a wobble. I mean, somebody's going to be eating on that table at a charity event, going, "How damn is table?" <laughs> yeah, I don't. Uh, I don't actually even know what led up to getting on the table. But... I have an idea. Yeah, Bacardi to start <laughs> yeah. with. Yeah, yeah. 
probably had an influence. We went to Texas Live afterwards. We all went up there. There's a bar with a bunch of games in it. There's a bowling alley, ping pong table. He walks up, me, Jordan, whatever. Pick a game, any game, boys. I'll kick your ass. Pick any game here, and I'll show you how it's done. So yeah, play the little basketball game. Hoops moving? No, it's not. <laughs> Hoops moving. <laughs> Too much smoke. I'm surprised you guys stuck game. around. I mean, it was late when we got out of there. Well, I got oh, a text. I got a text I've, from Mandy at midnight. Hey, yeah. come upstairs. We're having fun. Yeah, we've already been asleep. Three, for three minutes hours. to a, <laughs> yeah. three minutes to midnight. Hey, we're at Texas Live. Yeah. I text her back at home. <laughs> exclamation point. Yeah. Yeah, I wasn't feeling any pain that night. I gotta, I gotta tell you the truth there. But in the morning, though, you were. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> I yeah. texted Manny at our breakfast when you know I finally got back to her at seven in the morning our breakfast. Wait, oh, where's that? We're we're pretty. You guys over. go. To, you you oh, guys yeah, you have a there. breakfast yeah, schedule that you'll go to? No, uh-huh. they oh, went to breakfast. We went to oh. breakfast. I got. They up. stayed down there that night. Oh. Yeah, yeah I don't know what hotel. time we went to bed, but it was past one. Yeah, yeah it two. was pretty late. Yeah. I got up about five o'clock to pee, and I forgot that I had been out the night before, and I was like. Whoa. What's wrong with me? <laughs> so yeah, was... On Saturday, I've never slept so much in a 24-hour period in my whole life. Oh, I bet. Yeah, oh but you didn't God. sleep. You were right. You had the yeah, late hours Yeah, Wednesday, Thursday, Tulsa. Friday yeah. were probably pretty yeah. tough on you. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday were tough, and I had so much adrenaline pumping and like jitters about showing and whatever. I didn't realize it until that next day when it was all over and it all just went away. I was like, holy cow. Good. That whole and Tulsa was tough. Just, just because we were there a short amount of time, I showed two in the Derby and had other horses. And well, just, I mean, one of those was really easy to get ready. Really easy. He actually is easy to get ready. But yeah, it was a long weekend. Saturday, I think I slept. Like we went to bed two in the morning Saturday morning. Woke up Sunday at nine. And like, huh, sweet. Yeah. Like the whole next day. Did you meet Bella Hadid? No. Uh, did, did you? Tom did you dance did. I did. I... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Pick me. I did meet Bella Hadid. And she was very nice. I danced with her a little bit. She had a nice we, cowboy hat. I have to give her that. She had a nice cowboy hat, and she was she had some good dance moves. And No, I'm lying. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, oh, 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 I don't believe, I don't believe it. Yeah. I wouldn't believe in the dance movie. No. I thought maybe you what met about her. I did meet her. Fell into no, her I did accident. meet her. I what did about her. any other famous people? Did ben you Roethlisberger was there. Yeah, yeah I saw that. Yeah. I saw him. And yeah. I stood probably 10 feet away from him. You didn't say Talking hello? to Austin Shepard and Kate Shepard. You didn't notice him. him. And then the next day I saw a picture of Austin and them together. I was like, what? So I called Austin. Next time. Point it out. Yeah. yeah. I got a funny story like that. We were in New Orleans. New Orleans. And me and... Uh, Troy Hikes, and my brother Scotty was there, and you know New Orleans, where you you know you get you throw the beads up and yeah. to show you the boobies. <laughs> so <laughs> we're up there, <laughs> we're looking up on the balcony. Me and Troy looking up on the balcony, trying to get this girl to show us her boobies. And there was a girl on the street right in front of us showing her boobs. And we, <laughs> we both missed it. We missed the whole thing. When we were done, we were disappointed that girl didn't show the boobies. They were, getting, they were getting beads pelted at them, and they had no idea. Like, yeah. Troy, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, my brother goes, you two morons. There was one right in front of you. <laughs> yeah, so I got a story. That My story is uh, a little bit like that. Yeah, but that I want to say, times. though, that I talked to Bella Hadid for... Like, I've seen her in modeling ads and stuff, and I'm, um, you know, okay. not I didn't think she was. That's not nice. Yeah, I don't know where As, you're going. Well, she's no, a, it's no. a model. It's a model. She looks yeah, like a model. Yeah, she looks like a model, but not yeah. like an everyday. In person, she yeah. is freaking beautiful. Yeah. I mean, she was standing there, and she, you know, I mean, she was, I didn't know who she was at first. She was very nice, and then she introduced herself, and. I mean, could not have been nicer. Did you meet any other famous people? Did you actually talk to her? Yeah. Probably yeah. yeah, I talked to her for a minute or so. Did you meet any other famous people? I mean, I met Austin Shepard. Depending on what famous. circle you're in, he's, okay. Famous. he's pretty famous. Okay, after the cow horse dude walked upstairs to get a drink, cowboy sitting up at the top of the stairs, dirty hat on. I'm like, oh my God, that's Lloyd Cox. <laughs> I was drunk. I was happy. I was happy. I said... 
I forget who was following me, but there's Lloyd Cox. He's won a billion dollars riding cutting horses. And I shook his hand. Nice to meet you, sir. Big fan of your work. I met Lloyd Cox. Yeah. And he said, please get away from me, sir. Yes, yeah. he did. Yeah, he did. Security. He said, please yeah. stand yeah. back. Yeah. yeah, security. No, no. He was like, uh, yeah. a couple a couple guys came and removed me. Yeah, he gave you one of these? I didn't touch his hat. <laughs> yeah, no, Thought I meant, uh, so Wes Gallion committed to the show at some point. So we'll cool. have Wes Gallion on the show. Uh, maybe. It was hard, though. He commits to you in person, but you watch. You call him. I'm busy. Yeah, I'm busy. No, he seemed very. He'll nice. be our third phone call that day. It was hard. We're though. gonna call two people ahead of him the day like, that we call. Like him. today? Yeah. You mean? Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm sorry, Todd Summers couldn't be on the show today. He was busy. Where are you going with that? Oh, well, we called Todd before we called you. Ooh, ooh, that hurts. You didn't call Todd. No. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that hurts, doesn't it, Todd? Oh, sorry. That accidentally hurt even worse. <laughs> uh, what were you saying was hard? I'm talking to, during the the show. I'm trying to talk to Wes. Talking, you're talking about how loud it was. Yeah, yeah. We are. I don't even. I don't know Wes, so it was awkward. Yeah. We're yelling in each other's ear, like you couldn't even you, from here you couldn't talk to each other yeah. i mean we're yelling at each other's ear mm -hmm. andre and i trotting around right before i was like how much longer like till it starts how much longer huh yeah how much longer yeah, i mean we could yeah and i just gave up well and he doesn't really he's you know english is a second language so. uh, what? <laughs> It's I don't fine. think it is. It's fine, Andre. Huh? I don't think English is his second language. Yeah, it is. It Isn't is it? too, you moron. Yeah, he's he's talking talking about, he's I don't Italian. think it is. He's not from Guam. <laughs> what would you call his first language? English? Oh, oh my God. God. Yeah. This no. is what we deal with. Well, when you speak to him, do you guys speak fucking Italian? Uh, yeah, I do sometimes. Oh, well, that's... <laughs> I bet he speaks it back better than you do. Yeah, no, don't because it's his first language. First, first language because <laughs> he grew up doing that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like Italian is his second language. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'd oh. like to take back my comment, please. <laughs> yeah. uh, I just think on a daily basis he probably uses English more than Italian because he's yeah. in America. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so it's his first language. <laughs> 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 oh my God. Did you You're see yourself on the big screen? You and Danny? Yeah. Yeah, I did. I you and Danny who? Tremblay. Yeah. Oh, he's not coming on the show. Yeah. I saw a lot of people on the big screen. Yeah. No, I, I did. I saw it for a second and uh, I didn't know what to do. I froze. Yeah, it was quick. It wasn't. Yeah, fun. they went to someone way more. Because I wasn't way more, way more than, entertaining yeah. than you two guys. Boy, hey, but I, I was had, like, oh, look at those guys. Yeah, yeah I had this yeah. look on my face. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> look. Yeah. Where is the camera? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, it wasn't good. It wasn't good. They had some great <clears throat> stuff on during the rodeo, though. Huh. Yeah, they had a. They had some. Well, it's too long a story. <laughs> but they had some great stuff on during the rodeo. But that. Makes such a difference having that that clown hmm. that is, I mean, he just keeps everything rolling. You think that raining? <laughs> we need one of those. You think <laughs> you, you think, you think raining needs a clown during the drags? Joe, oh, we got the guy. They could put a stage on top that. of the drag. You could dance on the like, stage. Here I am on the drag. On the drag. Drop the beat. Drop the beat. Yeah, like that. Oh, yeah. yeah that's oh, yeah. not what the clown did, though. Oh. So. <laughs> that's, what, that's what I do. Yeah, the clown was really trying to get the, you know, he's more getting everybody to laugh well, and kind of. Yeah. 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 Be part of the whole the whole thing. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. Yeah. I got gotcha. you. No. But it was great. Loved it. Loved. Loved the American Horseman. Loved the American, American Rodeo. Performance horse. American Performance Horseman. Yeah. Yeah, I'll get it right at yeah. some point. Next year. We'll write it down correctly. I should have wrote it down this time. No, it was fun. It was fun yeah. watching you. That was cool. Yeah, it was very fun. Some of the coolest moments of my life. Sitting there when they did the national anthem, standing next to Brian. Yeah. I mean, you know, we're men, we, but we were both a little choked up. I mean, you could. it was just... It's, you, it's okay for men to cry. Yeah. 
You could just feel it. it That's was just no different. son of mine. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's okay for everyone to cry. Yeah. Yeah. They Not and, just men. They and them can cry too. I haven't and cried since anthem. I was four. <laughs> No, but it's okay, son. Show your emotions. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. anyway. It was cool being yeah. on the mezzanine yeah. and calling you going, dude, we're on the skid steer. Yeah. Yeah. Look. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That was no, cool. It, there was a lot of very cool moments, a lot of very memorable moments, um, indescribable feelings, you know. Yeah. When they said Team Regal Red and, and had put us up on the big screen and and then Chaz, my, my buddy from high school, one of my best friends, he posted that on his Snapchat story. Go cut, you know, and I got to see it later. And just, yeah. it's cool. I mean, it was just very, very neat opportunity. Yeah. Something different. Yeah, and something that Brian said on Friday morning was, you know, it, don't take it lightly. You know, like he's not taking it lightly. Like this is a big deal. I mean, this yeah. is this is a once in a lifetime type of stuff. Not something that you should take lightly. Like it's just another horse show. And that's not. a great yeah. perspective from a guy that's. Been around for a long time. Yeah. Brian's 50, 51 years old and understands how... Where it came from, where we're at. Yeah, yeah. and how big a deal yeah, how tough this it is. is. To get there. Enjoy every single yeah. moment of it. Yeah, when I think any time you make something like that is you can't take it for granted. I mean, it's such an, such an unreal opportunity and, and hard to do, very hard to do. I mean, I, I went to every horse show in the country been made it by 5000 bucks last year. Yeah. I mean it's it's very very hard. It's one of the hardest things to do, but <coughs> you just can't let anything like that go by without taking everything in. I tried I tried my very best that night to soak it all in. I mean even after my second turn or just after I knew I turned four times both ways, I kind of breathed just a little and I just looked up into the crowd just a second because as serious as the game is, those are memories that you might not get that opportunity again. I did the same thing at the Million the first year. Came around the end and looked up. Wow. That's yeah. pretty neat. Yeah. Something I wanted to make sure I didn't, make sure I took it all in. I wanted to make sure I didn't let anything go. Yeah. When I got that feeling is when you had to go through security to get into the building, and then you get into the concourse or whatever it's called, and it is just packed full of people and there are people you know i mean not people that we all know not all rainers but are horse people mm -hmm. you know and some of them might own a horse some of them might want a horse but there are people and that was oh there was that was super cool there was new people there too i mean there was four <clears> people <throat> sitting in front of us that had no idea what the heck you guys were doing out there yeah they were just those are my friends no not your friends they were different people i didn't know them yeah, no, we, I, had, we had like five yeah. girls just taking selfies for like 45 minutes while you were showing. <laughs> yeah. They didn't give two shits about you guys. <laughs> and they were just kept doing different stuff. Uh -huh. you know? They were waiting for Post Malone or somebody. Luke Bryan. Luke Bryan. Luke, or Bryan. Luke Bryan. <laughs> we, yeah. we left. Well, so. and, you know, and I think, and I'd heard the story too that somebody was there for that show. They thought they were buying tickets for the rodeo. Mm, yeah. and But then said they just loved watching it and putting the whole thing together. I think the only thing, it could all be tied together a little bit better with a little bit more suspense with, okay, this is this team. This is, so this Sarah Dawson's coming in the, in the arena right now and her team so far has this many points and have bam, 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 and this is what she needs to score, and, yeah. you know. Yeah. To keep it entertaining. <clears throat> it it kind of happened. To me, it kind yeah. of all just happened. Yeah. And there wasn't could have, enough build up. Yes. Yeah, could I mean. have used just a little bit more tying it all together. And I don't want to be I'm not I'm not bitching about anything because I it was I was amazing. I had so much fun and it was fun to see. And I think they will they'll have somebody get things announcing. straightened out. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, for sure. I watching you and mom when I was just trotting around in that little area, watching you two up there in the tables was a little bit funny. I could just imagine what you guys are feeling at that moment in time. Is oh god. Yeah. I knew what they were feeling. They were back in the stands going, "Gun. Yeah. Oh yeah, there you are. I yeah. see you. <laughs> I see you cuz I called them." Yeah. That was fun. It was fun for 
for us because Carly usually gets the big spotlight stuff. Yeah, it's fun right. to see Kate, Kate actually finally. get a shot. <laughs> it is. It is, it is nice to you know finally take the the big step back. You know, you're you're yeah. well, on my way back. You're on your way back. You're not just that back. guy that had that one good <laughs> yeah. year. Yeah, not yeah. Carly's well, brother. On the way back. Yeah, can we tell that story? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's a great yeah. story. <laughs> so we're so we're in the car. You guys know the story, but not everybody's. So we're in the car driving somewhere, and you know, Cade's being hard on his sister. She was probably 15, 15. 15 at the time, and Cade had just won everything. He just won a million bucks his first year as a professional, and uh, nine hundred and sixty thousand yeah. or something. And uh, he was giving her shit. And Carly goes, Cade. In about 10 years, I'm going to be famous, and you're still going to be talking about that one good year. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's that was, classic. Was that, that, was my, that was one of my all-time proudest parent moments. Yeah. And then she Kay, McCutcheon into McCutcheon. Yeah. yeah. She and she then Kay just out. said, that's pretty good. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. That's pretty good. It's hard to shut one of us up, and she shut me yeah. up. Yeah. No, that was pretty legit. Pretty good stuff. Well, thanks, Cato. Yeah. That's Thanks good for having me, even yeah, though good. it wasn't a team. But no, it was awesome. Yep, very was good very fun. Good. All right, thanks everybody. Grow the show.